Hello and welcome. It is us, the Behringer Brothers. And boy, have we got loads of exciting news for you. Well, you don't want to miss this one, so check we... Hey, you doing, tubers? I am Jason Bangoz. And I'm Mr. Chumley Warner. And we all take the ferry out of the gear, or otherwise known as the Berenger Brothers. We've we got to say a real nice thank you to Berenger, haven't we? They have, yeah. They've been posting that up on the Facebook page, saying, oh, it's the Berenger Brothers, so oh, well yeah, done. Post, <laughs> posted our video on their Facebook page. Thank you, guys. That's very kind of you. Very humbling, as it happens. And also, sorry. I'm, I'm a little bit more chirpy than you. Oh, yeah, I wonder why you're a little bit, you know, yeah. Check check this out, guys. Ready? Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. And that was the case with this. Look. Hey. It exists. It is here. It is in the flesh. Haven't switched it on. Well, I have switched it on. <laughs> we haven't tried it yet. <clears throat> Mainly because it's XLR in, XLR out. I'm a bit short on XLR leads at the moment. <laughs> They're all out in the gig bag. But there's only one thing I will say. Why didn't you um, put backlights on the VUs? There's no backlights on the VUs. Yeah, I would have liked the backlight side. So we've got, yeah. to, we've got to try and backlight this baby up. You know what I mean? Because we want backlights on the VUs. And that's our news. Uh, my news. Anyway, it arrived. So happy days. It's here. Now I'm going to hand you over to Miss Chumley Warner, who has some rather nice, distincting features to let you know about. What, 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 what? Well, I think we should talk about the grind. It's been a long, hard grind. It arrived, and this is a long, hard grind. We better roll the video, shall we? Let's roll the VT. So, yeah, the grind. It's another uh, it's in the producer series, like the Crave and the Edge. And this is their new hybrid semi-modular synthesizer. Uh, it's got 24 digital synth engines in. It's got a ladder filter, 32-step sequencer, and you can poly chain them together as well. So it's a brand new synthesizer. Mm. So what we've got to say is, if you're familiar with the Behringer Brains Eurorack module, basically what you've got in this new synth is that module in there, plus all the extras and your patch bay and everything as well. What was it you said to me earlier, if you um, plugged your brains into... A Crave, yeah. Well, a what, Crave, you've what, got pretty much the same thing, yeah. Well, what we might do, because obviously we don't know how long this is going to be, and they reckon the price is maybe $175 on Toman in Europe. So, yeah, if we get some time, we might plug a Crave and a Brains together and see if we can... Basically create a grind. Simulate the grind <laughs> whilst you're waiting for yours to arrive. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Who knows? It could be possible. It could be possible. It may be possible. Now, this next thing, this is really cool. Jay and I haven't got a 3D printer. We've been looking no, into 3D printers for ages. Yeah, really. you got a laser cutter and a laser engraver, no, but you haven't even assembled it's it It's still in the box, yes. So what this one's another tribe has come up with this, uh, the RS9, the new rhythm sequencer. He's come up with a, a case. You can print out your 3D case, and we'll show you a picture. It just, cool. just looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, these printers now, these 3D printers have really come a long way. And what we'll do is we'll uh, in the CAD. That's CAD. the program, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, CAD. What we'll do is we'll put a description link in the description for because he's posted the, uh, the plans, so yeah. you can load them up to your printer and I guess print it out. You load them up in CAD. And then next one, this one's a bit sad, but a bit happy yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So Howard Jones, bless him, he's doing a new tour. Top and, man. And he's named his tour the Hide and Seek Dan Clark tour which yeah. all, we all remember Dan Clark unfortunately he he died not so long ago way too young way too soon talented video producer and, and obviously keyboard player for Howard Jones so our thoughts are with Dan's family and that so good on Howard Jones for picking him up and and remembering him on the tour yeah sad but good on you Howard I mean we didn't know he played for Howard Jones did we until he I think didn't, we didn't know until he died did we no no we looked into his past and you felt so good yeah. he played keyboards for Howard Jones well talented guy what is such a shame so, sad news so let's move on to something cheery this is cheery Behringer we we talked about them building a a Malaysian factory that's a whole brand new one automated so what they what they're doing at the moment they're a big factory in China mm, smashing it to pieces yeah they they're slowly redoing it so they've partnered with this company called uh, foxconn who are apparently experts or the world's largest manufacturing 
an automation expert, so I guess they're going to... Automate this, yeah. come off the production line, automated maybe, some assemblance. Um, so the 3.6 mine might, I can't even say it, the 3.6.9 might get to you even faster than it did. Yeah. So that's good news. And then this one, we, we, we've mentioned this before, but didn't quite realise how expensive these things were. Ah, oh, yeah. This is this is called the Publison. Well, I, th- I think it was I think it was French. You have to correct me if it wasn't. Uh, but we asked Behringer, could they think about making this before? And we'll show you a picture and it was a rack unit with the keyboard that plugged into it. And these were fifteen thousand pounds. And that's why we're bringing it up again because we never knew how much they were when we first showed you this uh, idea. But <laughs> fifteen grand. But I reckon Behringer could, because it's based on like a sampling type thing. I reckon Behringer could do one for a fraction of the price because the well, technology. It would have to be a fraction of the price because there ain't many people got 15,000 bucks. Well, you could probably get the whole thing on a tiny little yeah. surface mount board now. Today's so, yeah, 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 technology. Pr- probably knock them out for 500 quid or less. I don't know. Who knows? But um, if you've got a Bublison, if anyone out there's got one, please comment and uh, maybe show us a video of it or something. It'd be great. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then uh, we're going to leave you with something a little bit special, as normal. This is, uh, we, we, had, we had a word with, what's his name, uh, Elon Musk? Yeah, yeah, Elon yeah. Musk, and he said, why don't Behringer design me like a music sequencer keyboard that will go in one of my SpaceX spaceships? <laughs> so, here it is. What do you think? Do you reckon they should build it for him? Yeah, he can do a bit of ground control to Major Tom, I guess, with that whilst he's up there. That's the one. I don't know if Elon's a musician or not, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so he, he may be a player. Who knows? He may he may be able to get up there and do some wee. All he needs is a stylophone, though. He don't need a space. Nah, come on, it's all a bit of fun anyway, isn't it? It's all a bit of fun. <laughs> so thanks anyway. Listen, thank you very much to Behringer for put, putting us on their Facebook page. We're just blown away by that, actually. Very kind of them, yeah. Yeah, it really is nice of you. And to uh, call us the Behringer Brothers, we like that. So we're going to wear it like a badge. Why might, not? Might get some T-shirts done at some point. If anyone, if anyone's interested in T-shirts, let us know. We'll get a design and maybe we can get some on the go. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. If there's any interest in such a thing, merchandise isn't something we've looked into. We still ain't got our AdSense worked out. Does anybody know how to sort that out? Because we just can't get it fixed. We've changed an account. Started up a new one, closed the old one, still not working. Yeah, if you if you if you've had this problem, and just put it in the comments, maybe a link to a video that may, we may find helpful. Yeah, hopefully we can get it sorted out in the next week or so. That'd be brilliant. Google, you've got to get this sorted because we're not the only ones suffering. And if we were someone mega famous earning loads and loads of money, it would be a real killer. But on that note, guys, we are the Berenger Brothers, and this is Take the Fair Out of the Gear, and that is Chumley Warner. And that's Mr. Jason Bangers. And we will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Check we. One more thing. Let's fighting.